All right, guys, today we are going to do a clutch pulley on a Husqvarna K70 con, uh, K, what is it actually? K70, K970 concrete saw. Uh, the bearings on the old one went out. I've already disassembled this, but I just threw it together so I could give you guys step by step. But uh, it's just easier to do the whole thing than, than the new bearings. They're a pain in the ass to get out because there's no real ledge in there to grab a hold of. All right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is take these two bolts out. We're going to loosen the tensher. Um, I'll put this uh, torque, this T handle wrench in it. This is a still tool, but it's got your torques that you'll need on it and a spark plug socket on it as well. That helps out. Um, and then uh, the, the clutch and any of the parts you need, I'll put in the description below. Um, so you're going to loosen this up counterclockwise so that there's no tension on the belt. gonna pop this this will slide right off then you're gonna take out these two screws they're t27s as well remove this cover and remove this belt get it out of the way you're gonna take these uh, four t27s out we're going to remove the spark plug boot and spark plug. Again, the T-handle works perfectly. Now we're going to stick the T-handle in to find the bottom of the... Uh, uh, so that's going up. We want bottom. So all the way down is right there. You just want to make sure the piston's all the way down. Now we're going to take... Uh, I'm using an old pull rope, but you're going to take a length of rope and you're going to shove it in the hole all the way you know put a good foot or two in there just shove it in there until it won't take anymore or until you get to the bottom of your rope once you got a good foot or so in there you're going to turn the pulley clockwise until it stops so the piston is going up and the rope is stopping it that way you don't damage your piston or anything like that then you can take your t-handle it's going to be a three-quarter or a 19 millimeter. You're going to put it on the nut. This one's old and got some nicks in it, so it takes a little oomph to get it on. And then you're going to turn it in a clockwise motion. Boom, that breaks that, that clutch free. You can take it right on off. Easy peasy. Bam. Now you take this slide it right on out slide the new one right on now don't worry about greasing it or anything like that it's sealed bearings so slide right on there is a, a washer underneath there make sure that's still there slide this right on no problem and then put this back on in a, a counterclockwise motion And then give her a good tighten. And then you're going to get the rope out of there. Okay, that's not right. I'm going to take it back off. Okay, so this aftermarket one, this is actually OEM. It's the only one I could find. But it's got a little nodule that's sticking up in here and stopping it. So we're going to take this back off and see what's crapping in. So the old one didn't have this thing on it, so I'm going to do, because I don't want to damage this, and this is going to work. Everything else is exactly the same. I don't want to try to pull it off and damage it. You can if you want, but these are not cheap. They're, you know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. I forget exactly how much it was. It'll be in the description below. I'm just going to go ahead and grind this piece right here off. So I just ground it right down. Now it spins fine. Um, they, this must be some kind of uh, thing that they upgraded it to to help keep this from happening or something. They did this for something. It looks like it's maybe heat dissipation or something like that. Um, they did it for a reason. This is actually an OEM part from Husqvarna. So they did it for a reason. So ground off that tab. Now we're ready to put this thing back together. We'll put this on counterclockwise motion until it's tight. 
Double check again, spinning freely. Plenty of clearance down there. I don't know if you can see here, let me give you a light. Plenty of clearance down there. Pull the rope out, reinstall the spark plug. Put this cover back on, tighten the four bolts, T27 torque. Reinstall the belt, go on the clutch pulley first, and bring it over to the clutch pulley first, bring it to the top here, and then just turn the blade until it comes all the way on. Nice like that. Reinstall bottom cover and screw into place. Now we're going to install this cover, but back the screw out nice so you got lots of looseness on it so you can line it up. Just, uh, it slides right over these grooves, right into place, and then you can line your bolts up with the pulley or with the, uh, the back side here and bolt them down. Now you're not going to tighten these, you're just going to go just to about snug and then back off maybe a half a turn or a turn. Right there, snug, come off a turn. Same with this one. Now with your torque, you're going to go in and you're going to tighten this down until you get tension on your belt. See, it gives you tension. And usually there's a spot to feel. Hold on, let me look. There's a spot right here. Stick your finger in and you can feel the tension of the belt. So you tighten it up until you got tension on your belt. Um, it's a little loose right now, I'm going to keep going. Just make sure you keep this lifted up, because if you don't, this can pop out the top. So keep this, keep this end lifted up while you're tightening it. You're going to know when you got enough tension, when this square block lines up with these lines here, that squeezes a spring inside there. So you're going to know that there, or maybe just a little bit past, it's going to be tight. Just like that. You see this groove right there is lined up. I'm trying to make it focus, won't focus, but it you got it lined up. Then tighten these all the way down. And that's it. You're done putting the clutch uh, pulley on your uh, on your uh, machine on your Husqvarna concrete saw. See this one, the bearings are just frozen solid. They will not turn at all. Now, I mean, you see there's no back piece on this one. All right, guys, this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Any of the parts will be inside the, uh, or in the description box below. Uh, just hit that down arrow if you're on your phone next to the, the title. Um, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you guys want some free advertising, mail me a business shirt. I'll be more than happy to wear it for you for a bunch of videos. Give you a bunch of free advertising.